I'm going to show you how to get out of a pair of regulation police handcuffs without using a key. Now, these are real handcuffs. These are Peerless brand handcuffs. They are used by police all over the world, and uh, they come in all different uh, brand names. These ones are Peerless. You can get Smith & Wesson handcuffs. You can get Bianchi handcuffs. They come in a brand called Safari. The thing that they all have in common is they all have very similar mechanisms for making them function, and they all use almost the exact same key. So this key here, doesn't even belong to this set of handcuffs. It's not even the same brand name, but you can see that the key goes in like that. You give it a turn and the handcuffs open. Now, let's say you had your own set of handcuffs. Anybody can own a set of handcuffs. You can buy them, they're legal to own, but what if you lost the key and you were stuck in a pair of handcuffs at home? Well, here's how you get out of them. All you need is a hairpin or a bobby pin like this. Now this can be done with a safety pin. It could be done with a paper clip. It could be done with a lot of things. I find the easiest thing to do it with is a hair clip like this, just a simple bobby pin. You wanna stretch it out like that. And uh, they have these little plastic ends. You wanna get the little end off of it so that it's smooth metal. You see that one's still got the end on it. That's fine. Now people think that you're gonna to need to go into the keyhole here to pick these handcuffs. But that's not how you get out of these things. It is possible to pick it through there, and I can do it, but that's not what I'm gonna do right now. We're not gonna pick these handcuffs. I'm gonna do what's called shimming the handcuffs. To shim the handcuffs, you're gonna go in right here into the ratchet mechanism. Now, this is gonna be a tight fit, but I'm gonna show you how this goes. We're gonna take the bobby pin, and I'm gonna stick it right there into the ratchet mechanism. Now, I'm gonna to try to jam that in as far as it goes. Now, certain sets of handcuffs, it's harder to put it in there. This one is only going in about a quarter of an inch. Now, I need to get it in farther than that. So to get it in farther than that, I need to grab on with my thumb underneath and grab on to the shackle part right here. I'm gonna put my middle finger right on the bobby pin here and put pressure on it. Quite a bit of pressure on it. Now I squeeze the handcuffs even more than they already are. I want to close them even tighter on myself and that allows that pin to push itself all the way down flush. Now that's basically all you need to do to get out of handcuffs. Once that pin is pushed flush inside the ratchet mechanism, it is uh, disengaging the ratchet mechanism, which means it's no longer locked. Right now, I'm basically out of these handcuffs. They might still look like they're locked up, but a little bit of pressure, and I'm getting directly out of these things. Ready? Watch. That's it. Now to get out of the other one is the same thing. I'm gonna show you it doesn't take as long as it did when I did it before. It's just a simple push, and you're out of the handcuffs.